A stowaway is in federal custody tonight. He was discovered in the cargo area of a plane that landed at Dulles International Airport. Our Richard Reeve is live at the airport with all the details. Rich, what a bizarre story this is. Well, Pam, it is a bizarre story. This guy traveled in the cargo department halfway around the world. He was found squashed between layers of luggage. Authorities say he just desperately wanted to get into the U.S. Coming to America wasn't easy for an Ethiopian stowaway. That's an incredibly dangerous thing to do. A man who traveled halfway around the world in an airplane cargo compartment completely undetected. What a horrible situation to think that 17 hours in a cargo hold would be better than your life. U.S. Customs investigators say the 37-year-old man somehow boarded Ethiopian Airlines Flight 500 out of Addis Ababa around 10 o'clock Friday night. He hid in a cargo area for the 17-hour journey to Dulles Airport, discovered exhausted and dehydrated around 9 Saturday morning. The luggage handlers who you normally take the luggage off the airplane immediately noticed an arm sticking out of the luggage. Experts say the cargo area of the Boeing 767 is heated and has an oxygen supply. Authorities say the man is not a terror threat, just someone who wanted to enter the U.S. You think that the United States will give you an opportunity? People are willing to go and do and risk their lives to come to the States. Many passengers have security concerns. People can get in there and they could, they could do even more if they can get into the cargo. Today they go in a cargo, tomorrow they get into the cockpit. We're very restricted and we allow ourselves to be restricted by the guidelines, but he found a way around it. Doctors treated the man for exhaustion and dehydration. He's now in federal custody. The man is now under arrest. He faces a federal stowaway charge. Now it is likely he will be deported in the next day or so, and his visa will be revoked. Live from Dulles International Airport, Richard Reed, ABC 7 News.